So you join me at Savile for the last three races of week 12 of the National Hunt. It's a two mile, two fellow, multi 120 handicap. Carlita Negra for Paul Rhodes along with Woodland Gardens. Trojan Bridge for Martin Leadham. Blue Riband for Kevin Meenahan. Velvet Curtain for Martin Leadham. Long Wave for Thomas Rogers. Chuckle Vision for Graham Clutterbuck. Estertide Revelation for James Shea. Expensive Nala for Thomas Rogers. Gold Top for Pontypool Racing. Avon Exotic and Heracleon for Stu Gray. Yearbook Leggings for Ben Benici and Fahana Landace for James Shea. Make up 14. Here at Southall, it's a race left-handed. The starter's got him away in the racing. And the Park Avenue handicap hurdle. It's long wave and yearbook leggings that are going to lead us into the first of the ten flights they have to take here. A little bit reluctantly. Go past the fence into the hurdle. Jump by the leaders. So they're all over the first, and it's yearbook leggings and long waves that lead us by about four lengths to expensive Nala and Chuckle Vision together. They're followed through by Paul Rose's Woodland Gardens. Out wide is Velvet Kirk for Martin Leader. They're a length away from Fahina Landes, which is really wide. Might be them second horse Trojan Bridges go over the third. They're followed through by up against the fence here, I think, is Esther Tide Revelation on. It might be Blue Riband with the orange cap on. So Tide Revelation is out wide. He's outside of Martin Leadham's horses. Then we've got the first of Stu Gray's horses, Heracleon. And Carlita Negra of Paul Rose, the top weight. And Avon Exotic and Gold Topper bringing up the rear. So Long Wave just noses in front now of Yearbook Leggings. Expensive Nala in third. Then one, two, three. Then Woodland Gardens is fourth. Chuckle Vision is fifth. So as we come down to the next, it's Long Wave and Yearbook Leggings. Expensive Nala and Woodland Gardens. Chuckle Vision. We get to the fourth. We'll skip over that well. Slow jump in the rear by Gold Top. It's Long Wave that leads us from Yearbook Leggings. Expensive Nala over the fifth. We'll take it well. So the half the flights are done. Mile and a quarter to run. And another five to take. So it's Long Wave. As you can see, it's a long run in here to the, the finishing post. Here at Southall. Get over that last one. And there's plenty of racing on the flat as we go past the winning post. It's Long Wave that leads us from Yearbook Leggings in second. So expensive Nala's third. Chuck Wilson is four. Wooden Guns is five with Velvet Curtain on his outside. And we've got the first in the Black Silks, A1 Exotic. And inside of that is the Blue Riband and Trojan Bridge, followed through by Fahina Landes, then Heracleon in the Black Silks. Although it doesn't look like he's in Black Silks there. A bit confused here. We've lost Heracleon. He's not in the race, another one of our mystery horses. But anyway, back up front is this long wave that leads us over the six. From expensive Nala has moved up into second to join yearbook leggings and got Woodland Gardens, Chuckle Vision, Velvet Curtain. Avon Exotic. We still can't see Hirak. Oh, we've lost one. It's Velvet Curtain that's gone a nasty fall as he went over that jockey slipped uh, out of the saddle and it's one down but up front inside the final five now with just two to jump it's long wave being challenged by expensive Nala yearbook leggings on his outside Woodland Gardens has made up some good ground Avon Exotic and Blue Riband moving out of the pack as well as Trojan Bridge Fahina Landace is out wide I still can't see uh, Heracleon but he should be somewhere in there but it's still this long wave from his stable mate Expensive Nala, Wooden Garlands in third, Yearbook Leggings is running out of steam, moving well now is Blue Riband, but at Long Wave as they swing left-handed with three furlongs left to run and two to take, it's Long Wave, pulling away from the rest, he's got a three-length advantage from Hard Chase in Blue Riband, and it's Long Wave from Woodland Garlands, Blue Riband out wide is Esther Tide Revelation over the ninth, Long Wave was slow, and here comes Blue Riband, it's Blue Riband moving well on the outside, it's Trojan Bridge, Esther Tide Revelation, but there's Blue Riband over the last, he's got a two-length advantage, from Estatite Revelation and Trojan Bridge and it's Blue Riband for Kevin Mean and hang on here comes Woodland Gardens inside the final furlong it's Blue Riband from Woodland Gardens running on even better as Yearbook Legends on the wide outside so it's Blue Riband Woodland Gardens Yearbook Legends Yearbook Legends for Ben Benici takes it up Yearbook Legends Yearbook Legends are going to take this for Ben Benici who takes the Park Avenue handicap hurdle with Yearbook Legends well done for Ben Benici I don't know if that's your first national hunt win of the season but if it is well done, pulling away from everything there. A great win from Woodland Gardens of Paul Rhodes. Just noses up for second from Kevin Meenhan's Blue Riband. And Martin Leadham's horse. But that's yearbook legend. 66 to 1 outside up.
for Ben Bonucci, well done. Paul Rhodes was second with Woodland Gardens. Third was Blue Riband for Kevin Meanham. Trojan Bridge of Martin Lee was fourth. The Nest Tide Revelation for James Shea was fifth.